Hey, this is our 14th video of the 2012 season. Um, this past weekend we were at Roman Gray. We had twin 25s. Um, it seems like the position that we're in right now, uh, being behind in the points and the car being a little bit off, um, the way I look at it is a good friend told me uh, last week, he said you can either keep going back week after week and with the same setup and expect different results or either try something new. And um, you know, in the position I'm in, that makes a lot of sense. So basically what we did is we tried a whole new shock and spring package. Um, the setup that I've been running the last two years just doesn't seem to be hitting them very much right now. A lot of that has to do with the track. The track has gotten slicker. Um, the tires that we're on right now are a lot harder than they used to be and they've lost a lot of their grip. Um, Hoosier makes tires in a, in a quantity number to where they made a big quantity of tires at the beginning of the year and we've been running on those same tires. So the tires that we're running on right now uh, are essentially about three months old. Um, in the past two years, the tires that we were running on, they were making them every so many weeks. So the tires were staying fresh and gummy and they had a lot of grip. So when you start losing grip in your tires, you have to start changing your setup just a little bit. Um, I was reluctant to change anything on the setup because I knew what we had was working pretty good in the past. But like I said, it's not working very good right now. So we went over um, this past Saturday morning. We took a whole new package. Um, the shocks that I run at Bowman Gray, I like to, like to consider them aggressive shocks. And what that means is, is with a tire that's got good grip and on a track that's got good grip, um, the shocks are aggressive. The shocks that we went over there with this past weekend were the shocks that I run at Caraway Speedway. Those shocks were built um, for a track that doesn't have grip. So you try to build grip into the shock and the shock tries to absorb some of the lack of grip. So um, long story short, we went over Saturday morning. Uh, ben Gable went with us and, and Ben is, is really good on the shocks, on this kind of shock and this kind of package. And uh, he was making some adjustments to the shocks and we were you know, changing some things around trying to get dialed in. Um, I ran a 1357 Saturday morning on 100 lap tires and when I get deeper into my race recap I'll tell you why that's relevant. Um, we got to making some adjustments and I really felt like the car was really good. Rule of thumb is if you go over on Saturday morning you want your car to be good for about three or four laps and then it'll start turning sideways in the middle of the corner. The reason that that's important is because the track will gain grip and it'll be a little bit tighter on Saturday afternoon. So. If you're good Saturday morning, you're probably going to be too tight Saturday afternoon. So um, that's kind of what we were feeling. I'd go out and I'd run three or four laps and the car would, would start turning sideways in the middle of the corner. So uh, from what I've dealt with in the past at Bowman Gray, we thought we were in pretty good shape. Uh, we came back over Saturday afternoon. We went out for the first practice, the same situation. The car was good. We thought that um, with 25 lappers this past week that qualifying was key. And that's basically what we've been working on is getting qualifying down pat. And then, and then adjust from that to be good in a race. Um, a 25 lap race, you know, it's, anybody that's been to Bowman Gray knows that if you start up front and you can hang on, you can win the race. So qualifying is what, we, what we've really been working on. We went out, uh, we put four new tires on in the second practice on Saturday afternoon. When we went out, I actually ran up on a, a slow car and still ran a 1347. So I felt like that we were in good shape. I felt like that, you know, I could have run a lot faster than that. There's a couple little more tweaks that we'll make to the car for qualifying that we didn't do uh, for our, for our mock-up run. So um, when qualifying came around, we went out sixth. And when I went out, I noticed that when I went down in one and two, there was a little bit of dirt on the track. But at that point, you're, you're pretty much all in. You're on the track and you're, you're in your warm-up lap. So, um, you know, there's really nothing I can do about it. Come to find out later, uh, one of my competitors uh, had joked about running off the track to throw dirt on the track for me. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things that you deal with when you, when you deal with Bowman Gray Stadium and, and um, some of your competitors, I guess. But anyway, uh, we slid through one and two, it pushed the front end in three and four. The lap just really felt terrible. When I came back around, I think it was a 1359. Um, the reason I told you about what I ran on Saturday morning, running a 57 on 100 lap tires, and running a 47 on the new tire Saturday afternoon, is, is it, basically what I'm trying to tell you is it's just the circumstances that we're having to deal with right now. Uh, there's some dirt on the track and then some issues that we're dealing with trying stuff to try to make the car go faster. Um, just, it wasn't the right adjustments. Um, the thing about it is, is every time you do something like that and you make a change and it doesn't work, you learn from it. So uh, like the old saying, you learn from your mistakes. Well, that's exactly what we, what we encountered Saturday night. Um, 
at the end of the qualifying session, we were we were 13th, which is you know somewhere that that I'm not accustomed to, to qualifying. Um, it's heartbreaking to me because you know when you go over and you're expecting to sit on the pole win the race and you qualify 13th, uh, it's very disheartening. But on the other hand, uh, we can't give up. We're not going to give up. You know, we're just going to keep digging and keep trying things until we get you know get the setup that we're looking for for the track conditions right now. Um, we ran, uh, I think we ran 12th in the first race. The Madhouse draw inversion was an eight, so that means I started 12th in the second race and I ended up 12th. So, uh, a pair of 12th Saturday night is definitely not the finishes that, that I'm looking for. I know it's not the finishes that my fans are looking for or my guys, um, but you know, it's like a, it's the, the post I put on Facebook the other day, just be patient and stick with us. Uh, just keep, you know, keep digging because that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, it's like I said, it's disheartening. I know it is. I know that it's frustrating, but I don't think we had a 12th place car. But when you qualify 12th in a 25 lapper, everybody knows that that's basically fall of the leader until the race is over with. So, um, had we gotten a draw for the second race, we probably could have, you know, gotten away from the field and had a really good car. Um, the car's still in the race, and I don't want to make it sound like we had a really, really good car because we didn't. We we're still off just a little bit. But like I said, we're going to learn from that, and the changes that we're going to make for that, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to overcome it. Um, Jason's still leading the points by one point. I think he lost a couple to the, to the call it the blue car. Um, but, uh, you know, at least, at least one of the Myerses is still hanging in there in the points and, and up front. But uh, this weekend, we've got twin 50s. Uh, if you check your schedule from the beginning of the year, I think it said twin 25s. Uh, it's the, the last race of the season before the 4th of July break that, that, that the stadium takes off. Um, your schedule will say twin 25s, but they've changed it to twin 50s. I think that that's, um, I think that the fans, the drivers, everybody, I think is glad to see that change. I think 25 lappers are just, um, you know, if you qualify on the pole and win the race, you know, you say, well, yeah, it was a great race, but the racing is just not very good racing. Um, so I think as far as the fans and the entertainment, value in a 25 lapper it's just it's just not as high as everybody would like to see it so i'm glad to see that bowman gray um, decided to make this change with the twin 50s uh, we'll qualify in the past what they've done on the the first 50 lapper is they've drawn uh, one through six the top six qualifiers will draw one through six to determine the top six uh, starting positions um, they will put the cone out for the cautions so um, that does give you an opportunity to get back up and uh, make the racing exciting um, the other, at the end of the 50 lapper, uh, they will do the Madhouse Scramble redraw, which is 8, 10, 12, 14, or 16, and then they'll put the cone out again. So uh, the 50 lappers, in, you know, traditionally are pretty good. Uh, the racing is pretty good. They're, they're pretty exciting. So, um, you know, hopefully this is the week that we're going to break back out, that we're going to get it nailed down. Um, you know, we will get it. You know, I promise you. Even if it's not this week, we will get it. We will be back on top. Um, we're just going to keep trying and, and just keep digging as hard as we can. Um, thanks to all the fans. There's a lot of fans that came down and, and could tell that the discouragement um, in my face and my actions. And you know, they, you know, a pat on the back and, and a thank you of, of uh, you know, you, we know you tried your hardest. We're going to stand behind you no matter what. So to the fans that came out and to the fans who are at home saying that same thing, thank you so much because um, it, is, it is hard to, to deal with sometimes. Uh, you know, I'm a back-to-back -back defending champion and won the first race of the year. We were looking for the same results all year. And, uh, you know, you just get off a little bit. But um, we're going to get back to the basics. We're going to be back uh, back on top very soon. So uh, thanks to my sponsors. Thanks to uh, Citrus Safe Barbecue Grill Cleaner. Adam's Towing and Recovery has come back on board with us. He's going to be on board with us through the, the 4th of July break. Uh, Dr. Miller, all my contingency, Pro System, Brown and Miller, uh, Roy Trantham and Mark Moorefield, RE, um, AP Brakes, uh, the Triad, uh, Racing Outreach, Paul Howington, uh, it's a guy I go to church with. Uh, they've started a ministry where they go around, Paul goes around to the racetrack and talks to drivers. Uh, he's not a sponsor, but I, I just want to tell him thank you. We do appreciate that. It's, um, it's, it's very heartwarming to see him out and talking to drivers and spreading God's word. So that's, that's a great thing he's doing. Um, don't forget to check us out on Facebook. I know that's probably where you're going to watch this if it's not on YouTube. But uh, we try to keep everybody updated and everything. But um, just thanks so much to everybody. Come out and see us this weekend. We're going to have a great time.
That's it. Video's done. <laughs> okay, fans. Now listen, if you didn't go last week, you were good shape. If you did go, pretend you didn't go, and <laughs> we'll be there this week, though. Not, not my fans. I can't speak for other people's fans. My fans are loyal and dedicated, and they back us no matter what, and you don't. <laughs>